Aristotle once said that nature abhors a vacuum. Well, if nature abhors a vacuum, then surely nature adores a hexagon. From beehives to polar storms on Saturn, atoms and molecules and rock formations, hexagons arise in many different areas of nature. Why does this one shape appear in so many different places? Bees require somewhere to store their honey, so they build storage cells out of wax. This wax is extremely hard to produce, so their aim is to maximize the area of the cell for a given amount of wax. For a single cell, the ideal shape for this is a circle. It requires two units of wax for each unit of area, but watch what happens when many circles are joined together. There's all this wasted space. In fact, it can be shown that circles of equal size can be packed together with a maximum density of 90%. So that means that there's 10% of space that is unusable to the bees. To be able to use this space, they need to use a shape that tessellates. There are three different shapes that will do this. Squares, triangles and hexagons. The hexagon is the closest shape to the ideal circle, so this is the shape that they use. The resulting structure is called honeycomb. Benzene is an organic compound that is very important as it is used as a precursor to many other chemicals. It is made of six carbon atoms in a ring. Each carbon atom is bonded to two others and a hydrogen atom. Because electrons are charged and like charges repel, these three areas of bonding electrons arrange themselves to be as far away from each other as possible. This results in a bond angle of 120 degrees, the internal angle of a hexagon. Benzene can be used as part of a larger molecule where one or more of the hydrogen atoms is replaced by a different group of atoms. Molecules that include a benzene ring include TNT, styrene and paracetamol. Atoms in a crystalline solid are arranged in an ordered structure. There are numerous ways that the atoms can be ordered, but there are only two ways that take up the least amount of space as possible. These are called hexagonal close packed and face centered cubic. Both of these have a maximum packing density of 74%. Compare this to the circle packing density of 90%. Let's take a closer look at hexagonal close packing. If you put six atoms around a central atom, you can see that it forms a hexagon. For the next layer, an atom is put on top of every second gap. On top of that, the first layer is repeated. Titanium is an example of a material that is arranged in a hexagonal close packed structure. The Giant's Causeway in County Antrim, Northern Ireland is an area of thousands of basalt columns joined together. Legend says it was built by Irish giant Finn McCool so he could meet a Scottish giant to fight. As interesting as stories about giants, the majority of the columns are naturally hexagonal. The columns are a result of basaltic lava cooling, contracting and fracturing. The rate of cooling determines the size of the columns. If they cooled quickly, they would have been smaller. There is a rotating storm on Saturn's North Pole that's hexagonal shaped, which is weird because you expect a rotating storm to be circular like a cyclone. Each side of the hexagon is larger than the diameter of the entire Earth. There is no conclusive theory as to why it is shaped like this. A hypothesis put forward by Oxford scientists is that the shape is formed when winds rotating at different speeds meet. When the conditions are just right, evenly spaced eddies are formed between the two flows which even out the boundary forming a polygon. As you can see, hexagons appear in many different areas of nature for a variety of different reasons. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.